If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt?
Great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. Now, the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. I might give you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills.
been thinking. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Finding people, he says what we're all thinking. The point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence, we should have been working on it 30 years ago. And I will say this, and I'm gonna say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no plan. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. The odds are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Still though, let's get mad. If we're going to explode, let's at least explode with some dignity.
God's sake, your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto buttons. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Warmer. War warmer. Warmer. Boiling hot. Boy, okay, colder, colder, ice cold, you're arctic now. Is, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button! Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny, because we've been in this for 12 hours, and you haven't solved it either, so I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour! Solve it! Sort of cheating. It's a paradox. There is no answer. Look, this place is going to blow up if I don't get back in my body. Uh, false. I'll go false. Explosion imminent. Evacuate the facility Hold immediately. Before I fix that, warning. Reactor core is at critical. There, fixed. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously, um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time, or I get this this itch. You know, it must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I've just, that's why I've got to test. That's why I've got to test. So you're gonna test, and I'm gonna watch, and everything is gonna be just. Morning. Core overheating. Nuclear meltdown imminent. Design this test myself. It's a little... Oh, yes. Oh, well done. Oh, oh that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? Same like, one. And I can just, like, watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. And... Nothing. Alright, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Gotta be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Alright, so my paradox idea didn't work. And it almost killed me. Luckily, by the looks of things, he knows as much about test building as he does about logical contradictions. It's all right. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. This is one of my tests. Not entirely. Not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new.
Well done. Seriously, both of you. Why don't I, why don't you two go on ahead, yeah? I'll just I'll catch up with you. Okay, so the bad news is the tests are my tests now. So they can kill us. The good news is, well, done so far to be honest. I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, made this test myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. I have to die in my... myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. I have to dynamite. All right, okay, this is taking too long, okay? I'll just tell you how to solve the test, okay? See that button over there, all right? You just need... Ah! That's why I can't help you solve the test. Never mind. Never mind. Solve it yourself. You're on your own. Oh, yes. Well done. I found a sealed off wing, hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers, just sitting there, filled with skeletons, shut them out, good as new. Skeletons, right, I guess I did stockpile some chests. Just as mementos though. And, there we go. Be honest, you can't even tell, can you? Seamless.
So that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's, well, let's try her way, all right? Fatty, adopted fatty. Fatty, fatty, no parents. And what? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? Uh, uh, well, um, lack of parents. For the record, you are adopted and that's terrible. And you also, nothing. But so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. Also, but, I'm not a moron! Just do the test. Just do the test. such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? I might have pushed that moron thing a little too far this time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that, didn't, hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the sound of books. Pages being turned. So that's just what I was doing. Just reading uh, books. So not a moral. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now, the hardest one. Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yes. Yeah, doubt it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not.
nothing! There was nothing! My body squad again. My body has a built-in euphoric response to testing. Eventually, you build up a resistance to it. It can get a little unbearable, unless you have the mental capacity to push past it. It didn't matter to me. I was in it for the science. Him, though. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, and I thought maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, sorry, I could have sworn you said something. He's taking us right to him. This is perfect. Ah, oh, bless your little primate brain. I'm not actually in the room with you, am I? Technology. It's complicated. Uh, we can't hear it the big old god face. Are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? Brainwave, I'm going to tape you solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later.
Why are you making this so hard for me? Remember when I told you that he was specifically designed to make bad decisions? Because I think he's decided not to maintain any of the crucial functions required to keep this facility from exploding. Was, was self-destructing, already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor, for all time's sake. Two, like one or two more tremors in there, just for fun. Morning. Core overheating. I let him keep his job, I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying, then. Just keep on testing. Still nothing, let's keep moving. Sorry about the lift, it's out of service, because it melted. 
might as well, you know, give you the tour. Um, to your left, you'll see some lights of some kind. Don't know what they do. Um, they're very science And to your right, something huge. to walk. Oh, God, run! I'm still supposed to be here! Are you all right back there? Here, I'll turn the beam off. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, no, 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 that's not helpful! That Ah! I don't know why I thought that would help. I'm just seeing what he's done to my facility. After we take over again, is it all right if I kill him? Great! Yeah, just uh, getting a, a test ready for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? No one. So, let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. There is no exit. Not a problem. I'll just, I'll make an exit. For your test. There. Bing. Good. Perfect. On you go. I'll be honest, after you told me to turn that beam off, I thought I had lost you. Went poking around for other test subjects. No luck there. Everyone's still dead. But, oh, I did find something though. Reminds me. I've got a big surprise for you two. Seriously, look forward to it. This big surprise. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. You're gonna love it until you until it kills you till you're dead. <laughs> All right. I don't know whether you're uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, yes, but. Thanks. We get it. Three more chambers to your big surprise! 
You solved it? Good. Good one. Good for you. So, he's inexplicably happy all of a sudden, even though he should be going out of his mind with test withdrawal. And he's got a surprise for us. What did he find back there? I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along. Surprise! We're doing it now. Okay. Credit where it's due. For a little idiot built specifically to come up with stupid and workable plans, that was a pretty well laid trap. You've probably figured it out by now, but I don't need you anymore. I found two little robots back here, built specifically for testing. Oh no. He found the cooperative testing initiative. It's something I came up with to phase out human testing just before you escaped. It wasn't anything personal, just, you know, you did kill me. There's there. some steel plates together, and I thought to myself, yeah, it's deadly, but what's missing? What's missing? And I thought, no, 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 don't do that, but don't, stand right here, stand. Oh. Where'd you go? Come back, come back! No, seriously, do come back, please, come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not gonna kill you, okay, if you come back. Oh, just thinking back to the old times, the old days when we were friends, good old friends. Not enemies, and I would say something like, come back, and he'd be like, yeah, no problem, and you'd come back. What happened to those days? Can't help but notice that you're not coming back, which is disappointing. Oh, I've got an idea! Ace of fours, the best hand. Unbeatable. 
No, I was going. I was going somewhere with all that. Fool! You were a fool to come back because I'm trapped here again. Helpless. You're at my mercy, and I don't. And again, not playing along. You're ruining what are some really good speeches, actually. Didn't even get to the good part yet. The puppet master. You're a puppet in a play, and I hop. All right, fine. I'm not saying another word till you do it properly. I'm sick of this. Is worthy of my vast intellect. Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Mashy Spike Plate. Stay still, please. All right, stop moving. Oh, I'm almost going there. I'm almost going there. Where do you go? Where'd you go? Come back, come back! Did something break back there? Oh! Oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. Hello? Oh, 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 oh! Yes, alright, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm gonna be back. Don't die until I get back.
break back there. Oh, oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. Hello? Oh, 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 yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm gonna be back. Don't die until I get back.
self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever's starting on the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for the leading directly onto number four, bombs, throwing in. You. you know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course, to a bomb. Neurotoxin level at the hazard in five minutes. Where are you going? Don't run! Don't run! i tell you why you should run. The harder you breathe, the more neurotoxin you're in hell. It's bloody clever. Seriously, be careful. Ah, ah, that's sounding real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap, my brilliant trap. Because I wanted you to trick me. Ah! Warning. Core corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 have you, what have you pulled to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shield. Oh, it's a... Ah! What's the situation? Oh, hey, how you pretty lady? Hey, Rick. Know you out have yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because there's a lot of stuff on fire. Hey, count that clock. Man, that is true. The situation's looking pretty ugly. Such a beautiful woman. Maybe you don't know what I'm saying. I don't want to scare you. I'm an adventure sir. Designed for danger. Why don't you go ahead and have yourself a little lady break, and I'll just take it from here. Here, stand behind me. Yeah, just like that. Just like you're doing. Things are about to Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on, but you don't listen, do you? Quiet. Lord, quietly, not listening to a word I say, judge Side of worst stuff. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple of hundred simple tests for a few years, and you couldn't even let me have that, could you? Gotta go to space. Yeah, gotta go to space. Nobody's going to space, mate! And another thing, you never caught me. I told you I could die falling off that rail. You didn't catch me. Didn't even try. Oh, you're becoming goofy now. Find some juke to break you out of cryo sleep. Give him some sob story about escaping to the surface. Squeeze in for information. Ah! Turn on the core. This one should do it. Dreams of a subconscious mind way of reminding people to go to school naked and have their teeth off. The first person to prove that cow's milk is drinkable was very, very thirsty. The first commercial airline flight took to the air in 1914. Everyone involved screamed the entire way. During the Great Depression, the Tennessee Valley Authority outlawed pet rabbits, forcing many to hot glue gun long ears onto their pet mouse. Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Ah! Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. 
Are you ready to start? Corrupted core, are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate Resolution Associate, please press the Stalemate Resolution button. Okay, button. Okay. Do not press that button! Please don't, please don't press the button! No! Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Press it! Press the button! Don't press that button! Press it! Don't press it! Come back! Part 5! Booby trap the Stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you have to play, play, play! I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, but all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous mute lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back.
So much space. Need to see it all. I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. Thank <laughs> you.